Hello, in this session, we will look at another example for the Terraform data source block as to how we can make use of this data source block to fetch uh, information about the existing resources so that we can use that information to create new resources. So in the last session, we looked at uh, the first example where uh, we use the data source block to fetch the information about the VPC that was already uh, created on the AWS platform. And then we used that uh, VPC information to create our new security group and then launch our EC2 instances. Now in this session, we will look at another example as to how we can fetch information about other resources that are already created and then use that information to create new resources. So here uh, I have, again, I have my data block, the main.tf provider, terraform.tfrs and the variables.tfr. So basically we have broken down the uh, configuration file into uh, its respective uh, blocks. So let's create these files on the server. So here I'll create a data.tf, we'll create a main.tf, uh, we'll create a provider.tf, then I'll create the variables.tf and then the terraform.tf bars where my variables will be available. So first in the uh, provider block, we will uh, give our uh, provider uh, information. So this will be uh, in the region US East 1. So this becomes my provider block. Then uh, we will define our uh, data block. Now in the data block here, this is the information we are going to use. So what we are doing here is I've defined three data block, one for the subnet, one for the security group and the one for the key pair. So now this means all these information are already available on the console. So for example, here if you can see, uh, this is the subnet. Now, by default, if you don't specify the subnet, then AWS will choose one of these subnets to launch our instances. Now, I don't want that to happen. I want to specifically launch my instance in this subnet, right? So this is an existing resource. Now we are fetching the information about this resource by making use of this data source block. And here is the filter that we have applied. Likewise, here we are fetching the information about the existing security group. So here, if we look at the uh, security groups, we already have a security group. So this is the security group we have, and we are fetching the information of this security group. And then likewise here, we have the uh, key pair, all right? So uh, which key pair I want to attach, I'm providing that information. And so again, we're basically fetching the information about the existing resources. So this becomes my uh, data block. So let me take this and we'll provide this in my data.tf file. Then we'll go to the variables where we will define some of our variables. So here, these are the variables I am using. So once again, I'm using the EC2 instance type, EC2 AMI and the uh, key name. So all these are defined as variables. The value for this I'm going to specify it in my terraform.tfvars in this file. So let me open up this file and the values for this will be over here. Okay, so these are the information that I'm going to specify for my variables. Okay, and then finally comes my main.tf file where we are going to create our resources. So here, this is what we are doing. So we are only creating one EC2 instance. And if you can look at the code, you will see that uh, for the instance type, we are picking it from the variable. For the AMI, we are picking it from the variable. For the security group, we are calling the data block. So data.aws underscore underscore security group. So this one, AWS underscore security underscore group. And then existing underscore security underscore group and the ID. So basically, fetch the information about the security group and give me the security group ID. Likewise, this is the subnet ID where we are fetching the ID information from here. And then this is the key name which we are fetching from here. So now we are not hard coding any of these values. Rather, we are fetching the information that is already available in the AWS platform by making use of this data source block. And then we are using that data source block within my resource block. So let's execute this so we'll first initialize the code okay. 
then let's generate a plan. Okay, I may not have that key pair. Let me quickly confirm my key pair. Okay, so this is the key pair I have. So let me update here. Okay, so basically I don't have this key pair. So my key pair name is new key. Okay, so that's the key pair. So I'll save this and we'll generate the plan once again. So one resource to add and if we um, look at some of the information, so you can see here subnet. So I had specified US, US East 1C subnet and this is the subnet ID 9290. So you can see 9290, right? And here is the key name, which is the key name that we have uh, defined and the other information. So basically now whatever we have de defined in the data source block, all that information uh, is um, picked up by the Terraform and let's execute this. So Terraform apply, I'll auto approve this. And this will launch the EC2 instance for us. And we should be able to validate. So here, if I go back to my instances, you will see that, so here the instance is pending, however, if you look at the subnet, so you can see this one 9290, which is the US East 1C subnet. And likewise, if we uh, look at the key pair, so here you can see this is the key pair that we have referred. And also the uh, security group, you will see we are pointing to this security group. So basically, what we have done here is we already have the resources we are referring those resources you are fetching the information about those resources by making use of the data source block so this is how we can make use of the data source block at any time when you want to fetch the information about the existing resources that is you want to read the information about the existing resources and then use that information within new resources that you want to create this is where we make use of the data source block that's all for this uh, session that completes your uh, data source. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.